today. ¿Cómo está este día, Eric? Hola. Me escucha. Hello, teacher. Ah, ok, I saw that I was not. Ok. Ah, qué bueno. Que, what a relief. Qué alivio. Creí que eh, me estaba fallando un poco mi audio, pero no todo perfecto. Ok. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. No había activado el micrófono. Ah, yo igual le hice de, de micrófono. Ok. Microphone. Microphone. Okay, estaba escuchando music. <laughs> yeah, I listen to the music in English. That's perfect. Excellent. ¿Cómo le fue hoy en el trabajo, Eric? Pues, todo bien. Okay. Está como que, como que va a llover por ahorita. Uh -huh. It is like, you know, uh, lightning and thunders, como uh, rayos y, y trueno, ¿verdad? Se escuchan, ¿sí? Uh, uh -huh. Probablemente, sí. Eh, ojalá que después de la clase llueva. Sí, para que no tengamos ningún problema con la conexión. <risa> yeah, but the day was very hot, right? The weather. Sí, pero el clima afuera estuvo un poco caliente, bastante. Ok, but you are here. That is the important thing, ok? Y esperemos que no nos falle la conexión a ninguno, ok? Mario, welcome. Good evening. The same for Kelly. Great to have you here. In one minute, we are going to get started, ok? Recuerden, chicos, hoy es la clase 19, el día 20. El día, 20, el día de la clase 20, que es el lunes, no deben faltar porque vamos a completar nuestra, um, nuestra encuesta, ¿verdad? Bueno, la encuesta del grupo, ustedes la van a completar, no yo, pero yo les voy a ayudar. Ok, eh, ¿revisaron todo que sí les llegó ya la encuesta? ¿El correo con la encuesta? Yes. Uh, sí, pero supongo que lo vamos a volver a mandar ya siempre. Sea, ya sea por WhatsApp o por, o por correo, verifiquen. Ok, para que todos estemos listos el, pero, el día lunes. ¿Sí? Teacher, pero, y este va a ser la, la misma del, del módulo 2. ¿Cómo está? Teacher. Ah. Y no este sé. también va a estar con... No sé, en realidad. No, usualmente eh, nos nos rotan, pero tal vez podría ser, ya, ya llenaron la inscripción, ya enviaron la inscripción para el módulo 2, thank you Mario, congratulations, great, y usted Eric, ya verificó con recursos humanos, a ver si ya, ya, eh, todavía no, okay, lo, lo más pronto posible, verdad, porque si no quedarían ustedes en otro grupo, porque como ahí, verdad, en la Situación es tener 20 o más si es posible, entonces eh, obviamente va a tener más compañeros y si ustedes se tardan más, entonces ya quedarían en otro grupo, ya no en eso, ¿sí? Ok, entonces, con la encuesta me llegó por WhatsApp y por uh -huh. correo también de las dos formas. Ajá, correcto, así es, para verificar si no es por un medio, es por el otro, ¿verdad? Como se les facilite más, porque creo que... quienes toman el, la clase por teléfono, entonces por eso es mejor vía WhatsApp. Diga, Eric. ¿Qué pasó? Cuéntenos. Good evening, Ruth. Ah, <risa> oh, wow. Ah, mire, Ruth. Ajá, después de haber estado trabajando ayer, ¿verdad? Le dice, good evening, Ruth. Sí, sí wow, sí, Ajá. sí. Ajá. Su trabajo. Ajá, please forgive me, le va a decir, please forgive me, ¿verdad? Por favor, perdón, Ruth, le dice, pero ya ve, ya se reivindicó en inglés. Ahí uh, dice, perdón, me. sería uh -huh. apologize. Apologize, sí, yes. Please, uh, okay. Apologize. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I, okay. I am apologizing. Me estoy disculpando, you say. Ah, hello, Jose Mauricio. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, good evening. Okay, Ruth, did you ask the human resources uh, department about the, the documents for module two? Le preguntó a los de recursos humanos en su compañía. Para la inscripción del módulo 2, ¿sí ya le llegó? Sí, mis, este, ya está, solamente que no, no lo pudimos completar hoy, así que hasta el lunes. Ah, porque mañana no trabajan. Uh -uh. No trabajan. I'm envious, no trabajan. Wow, excelente, amazing, <risa> great. Eh, igual que Eric, que no es trabaja. Que a veces... de casa. A veces se trabaja, pero fuera en las comunidades. Ah, ok, outdoors. Uh -huh. Solo algunas sábados. 
Ok, no, no siempre. Bueno, entonces miren, a terminar, ¿verdad? Otra situación que les quería recordar, a terminar esas actividades, ese homework de la unidad 4 y también el examen, ¿verdad? Final, lo más pronto posible, después de la clase, si tiene conexión a internet, no voy a hacer que entre alguna onda tropical en el fin de semana, ya ven cómo es el tiempo, es lo más impredecible, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, para evitarnos problemas, tratemos de ir trabajando. So, Kelly, I hope you are nice. Espero que se encuentre muy bien, Kelly. Ok, uh, the same as for everyone. ¿Todo bien, Kelly? Hola, Miss. Sí, todo bien. Solo que fíjese que este día estoy conectada con datos. Ah, ok. Este, no estoy en mi casa, entonces espero que no se me vaya a cortar. Oh, espero que me aguante. Miss. Miss. Okay, you are. There's a party. Okay, be careful. Family. Hello, no. Ah, family. Okay, family party. Yes. Okay, great. Bueno, okay. si está en familia ahí le pueden compartir datos, no hay problema. Es la, la, como que la señal de, de Movistar es un poquito mala, entonces no porque datos. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ya te Ok, great. No problem. Okay. Excelente. Ok, excellent. No, eh, hello. Welcome. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Ok, fine. Did you go out to the stores? Anduvo fuera en las tiendas supervisando? Yeah, that's yes. why. Yeah, because your expression. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have just arrived. This I have already arrived. Okay. Um, bueno, vamos a iniciar con los compañeros que están. Okay. And here we go. I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you guys. And let's okay, here. Let me see if I can. Okay, great. Over here. So uh today you are in the penultimate day of your module one yo confío que para el día lunes ya todos y todas hayan enviado su eh, inscripción verdad para el módulo 2 por favor no vayan a desmayar continúen en su aprendizaje eh, tomen ventaja de esta oportunidad que tienen ok Obvio que ustedes no, no cancelan, pero sí eh, en SAFOR paga, ¿verdad? Por ustedes. Entonces, esta es una beca. O sea, que hay que aprovecharlas. Y les felicito porque todos y todas han trabajado bastante en la plataforma. Y, pues, no hay más que aprobar, ¿verdad? Ok, so, class, the topic for today is vocabulary practice. Ok, and we're going to practice the vocabulary that we have been studying during the unit. And we know. Okay, so today is our video conference number 19. As I told you, the first activity is the greetings, what we did since the very first day we began this uh, level. And now we're going to have a feedback, as I told you, a review of everything uh, we have been studying. We're going to read the objectives and uh, as the pre-task, you're going to be asking and telling people the specific location of places and directions surrounding my workplace. This is what you're going to say because it is your workplace. Location of places, vocabulary practice, and we're going to be working at page 45, okay? So the objectives we have here, the specific objective and the class objective. So I'm going to uh, ask one of you in order to help me reading the specific objective and the class objective. Tell me who's going to help me. Only one, today is the penultimate day. Hoy es el penúltimo día del módulo. Así es que, ¿quién se va a, a proponer? Self. Ok. Uh -huh. Volunteer. No volunteers. No, oh, shame on you. It is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Ok, I'm going to choose the, the reader. Eric, are you there? Eric Yanes. Are you here? Hi. Okay, please help the class reading the specific objective and the class objective. Okay. Nos ayuda a leer, Eric, el objetivo específico y el objetivo de la clase. 
Eric. Yes, sí, sí, lo leo. Okay. ¿Me escucha? Yes, perfectly. Right. Se le escucha perfectamente, así es que Adjectives. comienza. Adjectives, specific adjective. Participant will be able, will be able, uh, will be able to ask until people the specific uh, lo, lo location, location, location of play and uh, mm -hmm. direction sur, surrounding, surrounding my workplace, my workplace class objective mm -hmm. participant will able to practice vocabulary vocabulary very well participants will be able to practice vocabulary as i told you in the agenda okay the vocabulary from the unit thank you so much eric you did it very well now the reminder for the homeworks and evaluations in the platform okay um Recuerden que yo voy a estar verificando eso uh, mañana a primera hora para actualizarlo, ¿verdad? Para que el día lunes ya lo que ya les aparezca su, su porcentaje. Es decir, mañana mismo al mediodía les aparezca su porcentaje para quienes ya lo, lo, lo terminaron, ¿sí? Porque hay quienes sí ya, ya lo terminaron. Todo el trabajo de todas las unidades y de, de todas las semanas y el midterm exam and the uh, final test, okay? Now, the time for you to shine in the feedback. Let's work as a brainstorm and please tell me what you remember about what we did yesterday in class. Actually, what you practiced yesterday in class. ¿Se recuerdan de algo de lo que trabajamos ayer en la clase? ¿Sí? ¿Qué trabajamos ayer en clase? Hello? Is somebody there? Hay alguien por ahí. Positive object, objectives. Excellent. Very well. Positive, positive adjectives. Uh -huh. Negative. Negative adjectives. Okay. One more thing. Adjectives Class. before uh -huh. nouns. Adjectives before nouns. Excellent. Adjectives before nouns the position of the adjectives in english right they go before nouns and they can be negative or positive yeah very well one more thing another structure that you practice alguna estructura que practicaron ayer se recuerda there is there is and there are, there are. okay very well did you practice speaking? Yes. yes. Okay, speaking. Did you practice writing? Yes or no? Writing? Escritura? No. Yes. Yeah. Okay, writing. Uh, reading? Reading? Yes. Very well. Did you practice listening? Did you listen English to uh, your partner speaking English? Yes or no? No listening. No escucharon a sus compañeros. <gasps> no, <laughs> don't be like that. Okay, listening. And uh, let me see. There is, there are speaking, writing, reading. Ah, did you work with locations again? Yesterday. Locations, las ubicaciones, las trabajamos ayer. Yes. And did you describe your workplace? ¿Describieron su lugar de trabajo? Yes or no? Yeah. Also, okay. Describing, describing my workplace. And you mentioned how it looked like, right? Y mencionaron cómo, uh, Lucía, cómo se veía eh, your, your workplace. That's correct. Okay. 
those uh, uh, sentences say, hello, Miss Griselda, welcome. Hey, we miss you yesterday. And I was, Griselda, Griselda, you may listen and watch the video of the class and then you're going to see. Y se va a dar cuenta que si yo la llamaba Griselda, 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 quedó en evidencia en el video, ¿verdad? Que sí, la, la echamos de menos. Okay, pero qué bueno que ya está acá. Recién va llegando. Sí. Ok, welcome. Justo a tiempo para el feedback llegó. And then class, we move to the next slide. If you remember, also we remember and reviewed yesterday at, in, on, yes? At for a specific point, in for enclosed space, on for uh, the description of something regarding to the position on surface, yeah? And we have that in is for enclosed a space, for example, in the garden, in San Salvador, in Puerto Rico, in a box, in a bag, in my wallet, in a house, in a car, in a coffee cup, yeah, in the refrigerator, and so on. Okay. Preguntas hasta acá? Sobre el repaso general? No. Okay, class. Then let's move to the next. Slide. Here we go. Yesterday, if you remember, we also feedback these uh, expressions. Where do you live? Okay, I'm going to ask you. Uh, Eric Yanes, where do you live? Eric Yanes, where do you live? Where do you live? Mm -hmm. I live in. Where do you live? Donde vives? I live in. Uh, in. San Miguel City. Okay, I live in San Miguel City. Um, Jose Mauricio, do you live in a house or in an apartment? I live uh, in a house. Okay. Mario, do you prefer to stay at home or at work? I prefer to stay at home. And now you are at home, yes? Yes. <laughs> Great, excellent. Now the question goes to, let me see, Noé. Noé, where are the prices of the food in a restaurant? Noé? There are in menu. They are in a menu, okay. Let me see, Jose Mauricio, where do you keep your money? Where do you keep your money, Jose Mauricio? I keep my money. I keep my money water. In my wallet, very well, excellent. Now, Kellyn, hello Kellyn, are you available? Kellyn, Kellyn, are you here? No, she's not here. Hello, Miss. Okay, Kellyn, where do you hang a clock? Okay, <laughs> Kellyn. Um, <clears throat> Where do you hang a clock? No, no tengo reloj. <laughs> Pero donde se cuelga. En, en, eh, en la pared. In English, yeah, but in English, how do you say that? <laughs> ¿Qué? ¿Cómo decimos en la pared en inglés? Ajá. Búsquelo por acá. ver. Oh. ¿Cuál? On the wall, very well. On, on the, wall. the wall, okay. The on the wall, very good. And I uh, also mentioned to you about the different prepositions that we started the day before. In, on, at, behind, between, among, yeah? Remember that between and among are, uh, in Spanish, they have the same meaning, but the intention in English is different. Because between, entre, pero entre dos personas, animales, cosas u, u objetos. Among, entre tres o más, okay? In front of, opposite of, next to. I don't know if you have any problem with these propositions. No? Okay. There is and there are, yes? There is for singular, there are for plural. 
examples. There is a cat, there is an orange, there is an avocado, there is a table, there is a person, a person, solo una persona, para referirnos a dos, there are two people, dos personas, no vamos a decir, there are two persons uh, in my car, no, there are two people, okay? You say a person, two people, three people, four people. We don't say like in Spanish, three persons, no, that is not correct. You say one person or a person. Two people, three people, five people, 10 people, many people, okay? A tall building, two tall buildings, okay? And now we're going to go over something else. Okay, listen class, you are going to help me because this topic is not so, so difficult. So in positive, remember we have, for example, affirmative. Affirmative, okay. Then we have, there is a cat on the roof. Hay un gato en el tejado, en el techo, yes? But if I say, there are mm, some tomatoes in the refrigerator. Yeah, there is and there are. Now let's change these sentences into negative. Negative. How do we change from affirmative to negative? There is a cat on the roof. There isn't, there isn't a cat on the roof. Otra forma de decir esta oración en negativo, there is, there is no cat on the roof. Vaya, analicen esto. There isn't a cat. Fíjense que cuando usamos isn't, la siguiente palabra es a. Ok, un gato, no hay un gato, porque no podemos decir eh, dos negativos. There isn't a cat. Now, there is no cat on the roof. Cuando en la segunda negativa no utilizamos la palabra con T, ya no lleva la palabra A. So you say there's no cat. Lo que le sigue inmediatamente es un nombre o sustantivo. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Sí? You may say there isn't a cat or there is no cat on the roof. Yes? Okay. Now let's change from affirmative into negative. There are some tomatoes in the refrigerator. The sentence should be. ¿Cómo sería la, la oración? In negative. There aren't. Aren't. Okay. Here we say there aren't. In negativo, any. There aren't any tomatoes. Uy, there aren't any tomatoes uh, in the refrigerator. Refrigerator, okay? There aren't any tomatoes in the refrigerator. Ahora, in question, interrogative sentences. Interrogative. Interrogative. We say. ¿Cómo convertimos la oración? There is a cat on the roof into negative. Is. Is there. A cat. Is there a cat. On the roof. In question mark. Yes, is there a cat on the roof? Yes, there is a cat on the roof. No, there is no cat on the roof. Yes. Now let's change following this pattern, the next sentence. There are some tomatoes in the refrigerator into questions, interrogative. ¿Cuál sería la primera palabra que escribiríamos? Or. Or, porque es plural. Entonces el verbo to be pasa al inicio de la oración, okay? Are. 
there? Yes or no? Are there? Some usualmente utilizamos any para preguntar y para contestar en negativo. Are there any? Hay algunos tomates o hay algún tomate? Okay. Are there any tomatoes? ¿Dónde? In the refrigerator. In the refrigerator. Refrigerator. Very well. Okay. Are there any tomatoes in the refrigerator? The only thing that you need to notice here is that you switch the order. You don't say is there, you say, uh, you don't say there is, you say is there. El verbo to be va al inicio. Luego there y el complemento y nunca, nunca se le olvide el signo de interrogación al final. Okay? If you don't write the period, if you don't write the question mark, uh, all the platforms are going to discount you valuable points. Ya vieron en, en el examen, ¿verdad? Si el punto les hizo falta. Sí. Y luego si el signo de interrogación o ese apóstrofe. Alguien me decía, ay, no. Ese apóstrofe me ha hecho que me duela la cabeza porque le ponía una comita o así un, un, un una tilde hacia un lado, ¿verdad? Eh, inclinada, entonces eh, se la tomaba como, como malo porque el apóstrofe es apóstrofe, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces vamos a tener cuidado con esta situación. And now it is the time for you to work. Okay? And we move. Hello, Eric Fernando Merlos, welcome. We were missing you, especially Ruth and Eric, and Eric Enrique. Okay, more prepositions of place. If you remember yesterday, we were working with under, below, over, in front of, beside, uh, behind, around, across from, or opposite near, against, or opposite, yeah? So this is a feedback of what we did yesterday. But now, okay, vocabulary practice, guys. This is for you to work in the breakout rooms. You are going to collaborate, okay? And here we go. I need you to draw a table similar to this one. Eh, necesito que me dibujen una tabla parecida a esta, ¿ok? Here, as a group, you are going to um, review all the contents of the units. And here, I want you to write the adjectives, as many adjectives as you can find in the unit. They can be uh, positive or negative. For example, illuminated is a positive one. Smelly. Do you remember yesterday? Smelly, that is negative. It means that it is not, it doesn't smell nice like a flower or perfume, yeah? Or clean, smelly. Mm -hmm. Then nouns, for example, building, box, son los nombres o sustantivos acá. The structures of the topic. ¿Cuáles son algunas de las estructuras uh, de los temas que hemos estudiado en esta unidad? Structures of the topic. Mm -hmm. You told me at the beginning, in the feedback, me dijeron algunas. There is, there are, another one. ¿Qué tipo de proposiciones hemos visto? In, uh, on, at. Ok, y hay más. Acá me van a escribir prepositions of time, las prepositions of time, ¿ok? And here, prepositions of place, de todas las que se recuerdan que hemos estado trabajando, but you're going to work it as a brainstorm, ¿ok? Porque lo van a trabajar en equipo, va a ser un trabajo en equipo, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Ok? Is it clear? Did I explain correctly the instructions? Expliqué claramente las instrucciones. Yes. No, entonces lo voy a explicar de nuevo. <laughs> Porque nadie contesta y todos se ríen, ¿verdad? Uy, you're mean people. I need you, necesito que dibujen una tablita como esta, en columnas. Entonces, acá me van a trabajar los adjetivos que hemos estudiado en la unidad. They can be positive or negative, no solamente los de ayer o los de day before yesterday, ¿verdad? O los del día anterior a ayer. 
los nombres o sustantivos que hemos estudiado en esta unidad. Por ejemplo, building, um, what else? Table, box, desk y otras. The structures of the topic. Acá las estructuras de los temas que hemos trabajado. Ahí me mencionaban prepositions, prepositions of place, prepositions of time, so on. solo los temas, no las estructuras. Y acá, prepositions of place, todas las prepositions of place que hemos estudiado, and here, prepositions of time. ¿Ok? Questions? Do you have any questions? Rose, hello, welcome Rose. Ok. Bien, entonces vamos a pasar a los equipos a completar eh, el repaso, ¿sí? Y luego ya vamos a trabajar en nuestro manual. Oh, but it is almost time, so I'm going to take the attendance right now before you go to the, to the breakout rooms. Okay, class, get ready and please turn your, your cameras on, please. Let's see, Abel, Abel, Abel is absent. Okay. okay. Alexandra Michel, absent. Eric Enrique, Eric Enrique Llanes, Eric Enrique Llanes, Eric Enrique Llanes. Okay. Present, so, present. Like present, present, present. Okay, present, present. Uh, Eric Fernando. Present. Eric Hola. Ismael. Eric Ismael. Absent, Eric Ismael. Okay. Uh, Griselda. Present. Okay, very well. Thank you, Miss. Um, Jose Mauricio. Present. Thank you, sir. Julissa. Ay, está enfermita todavía. Ella se ha puesto bien mal de esa cosa. Cuídense, cuidémonos. Ok. Carla Daniela va en ruta. Luego se conectará bien. Um, Kelly. Kelly Johanna. Thank you, Miss Kelly. Mario Eduardo. Present. Thank you, Noé. Noé Vladimir. Thank you. Present. Rose. Present. Thank you, Miss Rose. Ruth. Present. Thank you, Miss Ruth. Okay, now you are working, so it means that you are done with the activity. Ya finalizaron la actividad. Oh, wow, congratulations. That's why I like this group. Okay, now we're going to move to the breakout rooms. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay. Three people, three students in each group. If somebody else, while you are working, joins to the class, I'm going to send him or her to one of your groups, okay? Si alguien más se une mientras estamos en esta actividad, se los envío a su equipo. Okay, now... Please join your groups. Join your groups and work on the activity. Okay. Oh. Eric Fernando Merlos, I need you in group number two. Rose, I need you in group number one. Eric. Okay, Rose, go to group number one, please. Rose. Rosa del Carmen, Castro Moya, I need you in group number one. Thank you. Hola. Hola, Miss. <laughs> no, she said hola, and I say hello. Okay, Rose del Carmen, Kelly, and Jose Mauricio. And if you want to share your screen, feel free to do it. Now you have that power, okay? And la idea es que revisen eh, todo lo que hemos visto en la unidad y ahí van, ¿verdad? Colaborando, ¿sí? 
Sí, sí. Puedes subdividir el trabajo. It is just a suggestion, but you decide what is better for you, ¿ok? Ok. <laughs> oh. If you're happy, 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 clap your hands. Very well. Okay. <laughs> Now listen, class. The idea is that you uh, check your manual, ok? And then you are going to find all the answers there. You may subdivide the work if you want to. Pueden subdividir el trabajo para que avance más rápido. Mm -hmm. But the idea is to, to, to focus on the specific categories that I ask you, okay, to work on. Bye. Bye, yes. Eric. Bye. Yes. ¿Cuánto es lo mínimo que podemos escribir? Ay, no, uno o dos, no. En las preposiciones, no. No, no en, las preposiciones, en las preposiciones de lugar, traten de escribir tantas como sea posible. Porque recuerden que ahí es donde hubo más variedad. But the prepositions of time only, sí. Y los temas, traten que sean los que, ¿verdad? Los más sobresalientes que hemos visto. Y los adjetivos también. Uh -huh. Ok, mi okay. tema y yo cinco, va. In the adjective. No, five and five. Five positive and five negative. Yeah, probably. Okay, bye. bye. The negotiator. Bye. Um, si gustan compartir pantalla, la pueden compartir, ¿verdad? Y pueden subdividir el trabajo si creen que avanzarían más, ¿sí? Ok. Subdividir. Hola. Eh, ah, yo otro ratito, Luz. Sí, yo lo voy a agarrar yo. Lo voy a, voy a compartir pantalla y lo vamos a hacer en Excel, como dijo aquí el compañero. Bye. Mm, Okay. Yo lo estoy haciendo, ¿no? si quieres te comparto pantalla yo. Este es un equipo 3. Bueno, se les va a unir chicos a este equipo Eric Ismael. Vaya. Eric Ismael, eh, ok, en este momento se está uniendo a este gran equipo, talentoso equipo Eric Ismael. Ok, me dan. Eric. Ismael, Hola. we are working on a, on a general feedback, okay, on the topics we have been working with in the, in the, in the unit, in the different categories, in different categories que sus compañeros le van a compartir, okay? Bye. Okay. ¿Quién se fue de acá, chico? ¿Quién estaba aquí con ustedes? Que rosa. Ay, que falla. Esperemos que, que regrese, ¿verdad? Lo que pasa es que ya va a llover. Sí, acá estoy bien. Ah, ah entonces por eso. Ah, no, es que ya va en ruta todavía. Pero es ah, que no. he la cámara. Entonces, pero sí, al menos ya sabe qué va a hacer, ¿verdad? Ya sí, va sí. a llegar ese. Uh -huh. Sí, eso les estaba diciendo de lo del cuadro de. Uh -huh. Quiero ver si no me saca el, esta cosa. No le vaya a hacer clic en otro lugar y no lo va a sacar. <risa> ay, ¿qué es ¿Qué hay tú? Sí. Es va a dar por. Ay, me veo un montón de cosas. <risa> Bueno, creo que sí voy a poder entrar. Y si no, pues en el cuaderno vayanlo haciendo. Y ahí van trabajando las diferentes categorías para que avancen. Ah, sí, sí. Eso uh -huh. le decía. A Kelly. Sí, pues a sí. Kelly. Sí, la idea es que repasen todos y luego vamos a hacer una, pues... una, un sharing ahí. Un, un, vamos okay. a compartir, ¿ok? En general. Ok, bye. Bye. 
Okay. Vaya la primera. Okay. <clears throat> oh my God, very focused students. Me han concentrado este grupo. <laughs> Forever and ever. Okay. Hoy sí, hoy sí hay orden. <laughs> Mario pone orden. Es que el tesoro está por otro lado. <laughs> no, it's a joke. Oh. It's a joke. No. Ay, yeah, Mario, que okay, you can't imagine. Me duele el, me duele el estómago, pero estoy callado. Oh, Ma that's why. Mario es el director. Ok, he's the principal. No, entonces sería vice principal, el subdirector, porque el de la disciplina. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> ah, bueno, pues. Yeah. Ok, bye. 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 Claro. Eh, son adjetivos, o sea, bonito, feo, ugly, grande, ah, pequeño, big, ah, yeah. uh -huh. positivo o negativo, como lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Sí. Right. Le digo que no estuve ayer. Ah, no, pero ahí están en el manual. Ah, pues, eh, sí, a ver, a ver, a para describir el, el lugar de trabajo, los adjetivos que utilizamos ayer. Okay. Ah, con, comforta comfortable. Yes. Play in oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Creo que sí. Ah, con la, sí, así es, con ¿Más? ¿Cómo, cómo? ¿Cómo se D y S. This. In English, D I S E I A T. That's correct. Disgusting. 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 Y el otro creo que era es no sé cómo se dice. ¿Cómo? Es smelly. Smelly. Ah, smelly. Ah, pero also dirty. Yes, dirty. Smelly. Smelly. Oh, smelly. smelly. Smelly from smell. Smelly. Beautiful. Uh. Algo más. Remember, here it is not me. It is noun. Okay, noun. Pronombres. No. No. Nombres. Nombres. Ajá. N o u n s. N o u n s. That's correct. Okay. No. Y aquí es pronombres. Nombres o sustantivos. Por ejemplo, building, box, oh. um, schedule, schedule, horario, oh. yes, training, toda esa palabrita. Bye. Bye. Bye.
adjetivos y como ejemplo está iluminado. Otro adjetivo de los que utilizamos ayer podría ser mmm, pequeño o grande. A small, big. Uh, okay. small, small big. big. Ahí los tienen en la, en la at page 44, I think. Beautiful. Lie, mentira, life, advice, true, verdad. Okay. <laughs> Pero en las conversaciones, training, yes. Box, office. Oh, office. Yes, check out in your manual. You have many, many. Muchos tienen. Office. Get rid of it. Kitchen. Ajá, uh -huh. very well, kitchen. ¿Cuál de ahí? Word. Department. Department, excelente. No, 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 sustantivo. no, verbo. no, 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 Living room, training, yeah. Bathroom. Bathroom. Parking. Teacher. Sí, pero sería... Eh, sí, sí, así es. No. Sí. Eh, vaya, ya llegamos aquí a la... A esto. Podemos seguir con las estructuras por topic. Ah, son los temas y las estructuras que hemos visto. Yo me acordaba del what time. What time. Ajá. What time. What time is it? Así. O solo eso. Solo what time. Porque de ahí era what time. Y le seguía lo demás. Con el, con, el, con el signo de interrogación. No, no, no le poníamos el signo de interrogación. But leave it, pero déjenlo porque como what time, lo punto suspensivo para una pregunta, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, oh. what time do you have breakfast? Ok. Ok. How do you... Tres puntos. 
No sé si ahí va el do you, do you o das. El do, el das. 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 Ay. <laughs> y el um, where do you? Le podemos poner aquí da. WH questions. Don't. And don't doesn't. Ay, ¿cómo es el apóstrofe? Sí, así. Como el lápiz lo escribe aquí. No, pero en el teclado. El verbo to be fue el primero que vimos. Eh, el, también el, el profession and occupation. No sé, ¿ustedes recuerdan algo otros más? Eh, a ver. Los temas en esta última unidad, los más recientes, ¿se recuerdan? El, bueno, no, el del what, where, when, where, why, wow. WH questions. Mm -hmm. Information mm -hmm. questions. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, Direction. Preposition words. Be non enough. De ahí, preposition of time. ¿Y qué otras preposiciones de, 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 de lugar vimos? Behind. Mm. Ajá. Behind. Vimos next to. Excelente. Be, uh, next to. Next. Eh, Next, with Steve. Next. Uh, behind. B E H I. Together, together, together. Mm. Juntos. No es una palabra separada, es una sola palabra. Behind. H I. No. I, I know that's a, a, B, C, back to something. No, 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 no. Okay, I as I, in India. Sorry, teacher, India. we have a technical problems. Me, me. No, 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 it is misspelled. Okay, listen, who is the secretary? Ruth, okay, <laughs> I listen, I as in India, I as in India. It's in India. Eh? Come on, teacher. <laughs> India, the country, the India. She's confused. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, continue uh -huh. dictating for her. Continue dictando a ustedes, chico. Hi, Eric. Eric, you seven, so India. Yeah. <laughs> no, the next letter. The next letter. N. Okay, N. Vaya, después de eso, India. <laughs> okay, now D. D oh. as in the. Okay, behind. That's it. Vaya, That's correct. Gracias, teacher. Este Eric me deja morir. De nada. De nada. Nada se 
Y ahora te estaba diciendo, me, me cayó, cállate buenos a ver, me dijo. <risa> Continuo. Ay, no. Yo puedo mandar por la cosa. Yes, your good partners, ok? Like if you were in school, in a physical classroom. Ok, continue with the next ones. You are about to finish, ok? Three more okay. minutes to finish. Una media hora. No, three minutes to finish. Bye. No y media. Uh, ajá, daily routine. Daily Pero, routine. ajá. What is your daily routine? Creo que sería la, una pregunta. Eh, no, daily routine, that's okay. It is okay. Uh, in general. Está bien, yeah. ajá. And what about in, in unit three and unit four? The last topics. Mm -hmm. Los últimos temas en la unidad tres y cuatro. Mira, el, el primer Locations. tema también, el, el Get to Know some. Get to Know some, Someone. Someone. Mm -hmm. Get to Know, know Conocer. Mm. Ah. No. Okay. No. Okay. Someone. Unido. Eh? Yes. It. Someone. Okay. Address and place. Se eh, deletreame address. A. B. B. I no es R la R ajá I no la E la E y así no le pasa y y y y no, y falta una y es, es, es. <risa> no, eliminate this y no, elimine esta, ok, address, address, address and locations, and place, place, ok, and workplace, or address. And workplace, yeah. Okay. Otra. Hola, mi. Finish me. Finished. No, el <laughs> Finished. <laughs> Terminaron. Yeah. Oh, you are the first group. And how many structures or topics do you have? <gasps> ¿Cuántas estructuras tiene? O temas, structures or topics. Um, I? Hey, tengo ya. Ocho Uno, temas. Dos. And how many prepositions of place do you have? How many prepositions of place do you have? Cinco. Read them, please. Read the prepositions of place that you have. Under. Uh -huh. Next to. Mm -hmm. Behind. Between. Mm -hmm. In front of. In, on, at, no. Of places. Sí. Ah, in the garden. garden. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pero también oh. recuerde eh, por eso, porque oh. tiene double function, double grammatical function. Oh. Tiene doble función gramatical como preposiciones de lugar y como preposiciones de tiempo. Yeah. In the okay. garden. On the table. Yes. At the cafeteria. Do you remember? Okay. Okay.
Y las y las preposición of time, sí, siempre serían solo tres, ¿verdad? El in, on, at. In, on, at. Very well. Ok, great. Excellent. Bueno, ¿y quién va a presentar esto? En, en, la, en los equipos, en el, en el main session room. ¿Quién de ustedes? You choose one representative, ¿ok? Seleccionan un representante de equipo. Okay. Okay, okay, Miss. Okay, ¿cuál es? By alone. A L O N G. Uh -huh. Siguiente. Next. In, next. <laughs> In front of. Next, Beijing. No sé cómo se pronuncia Be Beijing. Behind, behind, behind. Beijing, no. Beijing es comenzar. Behind. Age. Oh, no, eliminate G. Eliminate G. G. H. H. D. In, in D. Ajá. D. D. De, 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 de. Day, <laughs> day, as in day behind. <laughs> next, next two. Between. Con. Doble E. Ey, ese no sé cómo se pronuncia. Across. Doble E. S. Sin una O. Across. Yes. Past. Es next. Past. Uh -huh. In the next hundred. No sé si había más, pero esas son las que estaban aquí. Teacher, podemos poner beside. beside. Yo creo que ya no está la teacher aquí. Aquí está. <laughs> Aquí está. I am listening to you. Ajá. Me excluye, lo tenemos. También, también creo que. Around. Es en una que le dice, around, le around, la around, around, around. Behind, ya está between, ya está. Around. Uh, And now go over prepositions of time. Around. Así. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y le faltaron right. las tres principales acá. In, on, at. In, on, at. Yeah, prepositions of place to remember. In, In on, at. On, es que at. le íbamos a poner así en grande. En el <laughs> There's always an excuse. Es In, que estaba buscando on, nuevas soluciones. En, en, okay. en, en, oh. Teacher, mm. pensé que el in, on, at era preposition of time. Es que así es. También. Recuerde, también. por eso tiene sí. doble función. Por eso aquí les dejamos el espacio. Aquí también van. Y... <risa> ok. Ya les, sí. ya les había that... dicho. Yes, you are ready. Ok, and that's it. You are done, ok. Save your information. And then we move to the uh, main session room, ok. So let's get back. Prepositions of time only in on a uh, those only. are the, yeah, okay. the ones that we have started. Okay, let's okay. get back to the main session room. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot.
Welcome. 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 <laughs> Welcome back to the main session room. And your other partners are still working in the other teams because they. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, but anyways, the platform is going to bring them back in a couple of seconds. Let's wait for them so we can continue. Okay. Okay, class, thank you for coming back. And now here we go. I would like to listen to some of you. Actually, there were three groups. One represent, representative from each group, please. Okay, in group number one, I'm going to read the names of the people, Jose Mauricio, Kelly, and Rosa del Carmen. Okay, who's going to be the, the speaker in that group? Hello. Okay. okay, thank you. Eh, it's a vocabulary practice. Adjective illuminate. Illuminated. 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 Mm -hmm. Seria mm -hmm. small. Being beautiful. Nice. Mm -hmm. Or bad. Mm -hmm. And now. Mm -hmm. eh, Ouch. Yeah. Okay, what do you have in nouns? A table, office, bar room, parking, dinner room. A Extraordinary or topics or a uh, three to be birds, profession and occupation, WH question, proposition, proposition on time, prepositions Sanctum. of time, proposition on no, time, no, 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 prepositions, preposition, prepositions. Of Preposition on time. Okay. Some pre present tense. There is a singular. There are plural. Thank you. Y las siguientes. A preposition of a place. 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 Uh, sería under, uh, next to. Um, begin behind in, um, behind in, oh, esas. <laughs> okay y en la pro, pre proposition no pre pro, pro proposition <laughs> of time at in on um. Preposi prepositions, no prepositions. Preposition. 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 Okay, great. Preposition time. Of time. <laughs> mm -hmm. The prepositions of time are in at, on at. In, um, on. Thank you so much. Great. Very well done. Now let's listen to the next team. Eric Fernando, Mario Eduardo, and Ruth. Who's going to be the speaker in that team? Okay, Eric, welcome. We would like to listen to your musical voice. No te acordás que era Mario. Okay, guys. Okay, Miss. Ruth, ayúdame a compartir la pantalla. 
Please. Uh, okay, adjectives. Illuminated, smelly. Smelly. Yeah. Smelly. Ahí es con E, no con A. Ah, smelly. From smell. Olor. Smelly. Okay. You later correct. Silence. Okay. Smelly. Okay. Let's see. Very well. Smelly. Excellent. Continue. Yeah. Continue. Beautiful. Clean. Mess. Dirty. Dusty. Uh, but if you say mess, maybe it should be messy with W uh, mess. at the end, uh -huh. because mess is the is as a as another word. Okay? Mm -hmm. Messy, messy. Why? Y Ruth, messy. Excellent. Very well. Thank you, Ruth. Now nouns lie, true, advice, life, office. Kitchen, department, birthday. Structures of topics, birth to be, occupations, professions, simple present, information question, the alphabet, we age questions, A preposition of place, in, on, at, next to, behind, between, among, Opposite of and preposition of time. There is, there are, no. No, Why? there is, there are, there isn't, there aren't, they are structures or topics. The prepositions um, of time are in, on, at, in two minutes, at two o'clock, okay? On July the 4th, people celebrate Independence Day, yes? Remember that in, on, at, the, the, the three prepositions have double grammatical function. They work as prepositions of time and they also work as prepositions of place, okay? Okay. Yeah, okay, great, thank you. That is why we are working in this general feedback. So. Congratulations, very well done. You only check out that and excellent. And the last but not the least, in the other group, we have Eric Enrique, Griselda, and Noe. The speaker is. <gasps> what happened? <laughs> no, 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 don't go say where you are. I was you about said. to throw. I, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Stay he here. said, bueno. No, they are coming back. They are coming back. <laughs> they have to come back. <laughs> because I was about thinking that there's a, there's a dialogue. And I was closing over here. But they are coming back. They are coming back. Okay. So, who's Teacher. going to read? Voy a compartir okay. pantalla y okay. podemos no, leer no. los tres. Voy a leer, las, voy a, a leer las primeras dos yo y luego Griselda y luego Eric. Ok. Ah, Griselda es yo. Ok. Está buena. Ahí está. Oh, to be, to be democratic. Very yes. well. Vocabulary. Next time for Eric. Eric Fernando. Ok. Vocabulary practice, adjectives, illuminator, nice, narrow, ugly, few, comfortable, comfortable, this is disgusting, 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 dirty, smelly, beautiful, nouns, bags, training, building, street, avenue, supermarket, Company, hospital, city, town. Sí. Now, Griselda. Structures or topics. What time? How do you do that? And don't, doesn't, 
where do you work? Uh, what um, do, do, do does must subject must verb must complement daily no, 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 get to know some someone some, someone address and workplace there is and there are mm -hmm. next uh, eric eric boy <laughs> okay preposition forms of place alone I front of Beijing next to between across but under besides be around 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 in on at in on up preposition of time preposition Prepositions of time in on at the only thing is that it is behind, okay? Behind, behind, here, behind, behind, okay? Behind. Class, congratulations, very well done, excellent. Claps, claps, claps for your work. You did it. And now we continue with our next activity. And here we go, okay? If you remember yesterday, we were working at page 44 with positive adjectives and negative adjectives. Some of the positive adjectives are comfortable, the negative uncomfortable. Huge, okay, positive, a small, negative because it is the opposite. Nice, illuminated. Mm -hmm. The negative, narrow, uh, small, disgusting, uh, something that you don't like, uh, smelly, the other is, okay, you cannot stand it, smelly. And um, to some people, um, onions are smelly, they don't like it. Para algunas personas, las uh, onions, las cebollas, huelen mal, no les agrada, yeah? Or garlic, el ajo, they cannot stand that uh, other, so for them it is smelly. But some other people like it, and they smell nice, yeah? Okay, now here, look at this. At page 45, guys, we continue with addresses and places. Ask a partner of where he or she works and what uh, the address is and share. Look at this, employee's information. Name, for example, Mauricio Quintanilla. Office, main phone, and you say the number. The phone number. Workplace in this case, in this example, is Arrows Technology Company. The address is for the company, okay, where uh, Mauricio Quintanilla works. Uh, it is on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, 853, Santa Cecilia, San Salvador, okay. Job position, software designer. Department production. Do you remember where do you belong to? Oh, I belong to the, the, to the production department. I belong to the um, human resources department. I belong to the sales department. I belong to the accounting department, the purchasing department, and the ID. This ID is like a code that the company gives you, yes? Okay, is that okay? Okay, and then here you have to ask your partners, where do you work, where is it? And then you have to tell your partner the address of the company that you work for, okay? And later you are going to write here, you are going to create, okay, your, employees information similar to this one okay is that okay is that clear yes when you finish with the employees information creation your own then you are going to read as a group again read again the employees information and circle which of the 
alternate directions below is the correct one. You can look at page 39 in order to, okay? It is located in front of the mall on First Avenue or number two, number three, or number four, according to this address, the one that belongs to Mauricio Quintanilla. So at page 39, what do you have? Mm, let me see, this is, okay, at page, look at me, not look at me, but look at my screen. At page 39, you have the map, yeah? You have here Arrow's company in the map, okay? So right now we're going to move to the breakout rooms and you are going to work as a team, but okay, you create your employees information and you are going to tell your partner the place where you work and its address, the address, the exact address. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Let's go to the breakout rooms. And now you can go to the breakout rooms, okay? Here, go please, join your groups. Join your groups. Create your employees information card. ¿Qué pasó, mi amor? ¿Qué te pasa? Ven y te pasa. Ok, ¿alguna pregunta sobre la indicación? ¿Todo según bien? Lo que, te, lo que entendí, vamos a trabajarlo según la, el mapa Ajá. de la 39, ¿verdad? No, 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 no. no. Esas son ah. las preguntas, pero en base a la información que nos muestra acá Mr. Mauricio Quintanilla. Pero ah, ustedes van a tener que crear su propia información siguiendo este patrón, ¿sí? Ah, okay. Este modelo, ajá. Pero esto que van a contestar acá es en relación a esto y el mapa de la página 39, ¿ok? Mm. Sí. Ok. Son, eh, tres cositas, leen esto, contestan esto en base al mapa, cuál es la mejor opción y crean su propia Employees Information Card, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, bye. Bye. ¿Usted puede compartir, Mauricio? Sí, solo que quiero buscar el mapa. Después te puedo dar pero no me lo puedo. No, si sí, déjalo, no hay problema. Workplace. Okay. <coughs> Workplace. Tienen que poner el número de ella. Miren, primero, antes de que borren esta información, tienen que leer esta información y contestar ¿Cuál de esas opciones que aparecen 1, 2, 3, or 4 es la mejor respuesta para la pregunta que aparece ahí? Entonces, considerando que Mr. Quintanilla trabaja en Arrow Technology Company, ¿cuál es la dirección de esa compañía? Hacen referencia, regresan al mapa en la página 39 y ahí toman su decisión. ¿Cuál es la mejor opción? 1, 2, or 3, or 4. Ahí les aparecen varias opciones. Uh, scroll de, de page. ¿Quién está compartiendo? Ruth. Ruth. Uh -huh. uh, baje la, la, la imagen. Acá, miren. Read again the employee's information and circle which of the alternative directions. ¿Cuál de estas opciones es la más acorde para indicar dónde está ubicada Arrow Technology Company? Tienen que revisar el mapa, ¿sí? Y luego cada quien va a crear su... Eh, Employees Information Card, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Ok, very well. Bye. Bye.
Página 30. ¿Me puede decir alguien qué, 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 qué es lo que van a trabajar? Estamos haciendo nuestra, nuestro carnet del trabajo primero. Ok, muy bien. Pero recuerden que luego, cuando terminen de hacer esta información, ¿verdad? Siguiendo este modelo, ustedes van a leer esta información y fíjense que acá, en el numeral 3, les aparecen cuatro alternativas. ¿Cuál es la mejor opción para decir exactamente dónde está ubicada la compañía del Mauricio Quintanilla? Es esta la correcta, Arrow Technology Company, donde está ubicada. De acuerdo al mapa que aparece en la página 39, ¿ok? Cuando terminen eso, como equipo, analizan y regresan a la página 39 y deciden cuál es la mejor opción, ¿ok? That's it. Very well done. Ok, continue. Continue. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Entonces era ¿Dónde está el cuadrito? ¿Dónde está la muñequita? Tiene que completar sus datos. Ah, ok. Ok, venita. No me insultes, por favor. Soy sensible. Ah, disculpe, Ticha. Disculpe. <risa> ¿Ya hicieron la encuesta? ¿Qué hicieron que iban a hacer? No. Esa es el día lunes. Acá es en clase lunes. nos van a indicar a la hora que. No, no, no era la última clase. ¿Cuándo es la última? El lunes, niños, son 20 clases. Suenen ah, clases. Sí. <risa> Solo por eso se va a quedar conmigo esta noche. A las 10 y 10. No, please, no termine. Ya. Yeah. And everybody laughing and smiling. Oh. Y que hay, este, Ruth, sí. No, it is, it is only one on one. Solamente un estudiante que puede quedar. Pueden haber dos. So sorry. And he began to cry when he oh. listened to that. He comenzó a llorar cuando escuchó eso. No, please, again. Porque no, 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 no. Oh, really? Okay, bye. 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 Um, yo ya completé <coughs> mi información. Yo igual. Si quieren empezamos entonces a leerla cada uno y luego no. seguimos con el ejercicio 3. Ok. Um, voy a empezar. Ok, employees information. Name. Rosy Castro. Office main phone. Uh, <coughs> 7-3-3-2-1-6-8-3 Workplace R I S Shipping S A D C B Address Jerusalem Avenue Maquilis Watt Neighborhood Acaranda Street, mm, mm, Polígono 
L. Houses number 27. <clears throat> Joe position, import export coordinator. Department operation. EID no tengo. Okay. Use your imagination. Ajá. Eh, acá, si se fija, es MQ Mauricio Quintanilla, right? And one number, you, you create a number. Okay. ID RC 250397. Okay. Solo tengo una consulta, mis polígono es, se dice polígono. Yeah, because uh, it doesn't exist in English. Uh, in English, they only have block. Ah, okay. But block is like cuadra. Okay. Polígono, porque un polígono es una cuadra, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, finish. Okay. Sigo yo entonces. <laughs> eh, Neish. Mauricio Rivas, office, eh, May fo, eh, phone, es eh, 76H3OAA9. Eh, workplace es Grupo Monkey. Anders. On del ejército boulevard eh, kilómetro no sé si así se dice kilómetro mis kilómetro kilómetro eh, seven eh, soy a pango con eh, posice, position a credit analyst. Okay, repeat after me. Job position. Job, Job position. position. Mm -hmm. Job position. Credit analyst. The primary credit ID JN002021. Finish. Okay. Sigo. Uh, my name is Kelly Joanna Diaz Castillo. My name is cell phone. Seven one. One three. Seven nine four three. Workplace RIS Shipping SADCB. Address Avenue Jerusalem, Macnisquat Street, eh, Jacaranda, eh, Miss Pasaje. Esa palabra no existe. No. No, en inglés no dice pasaje. Es lo mismo, ellos solo blog dice. Blog. Uh -huh. Blog. Juan. Mm -hmm. Number uh, 27. Or oh, you say a uh, pasaje, blah, blah, because it is the same, okay, when they look for an address. And, okay, continue. Position, import export coordinator, department operation, ID, DC, uh, Sorry, sorry. Six. Okay, so Kelly and Rosa del Carmen, you work in the same company. Yes. Yes, me. And also, but Noé doesn't work with you. Oh, yes. Noé trabaja con ustedes. No, 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 no. Ah, okay, only both of you. He works with a Julissa. He works with Julissa. Okay, very well. Thank you. So you are done. And did you answer the question? 
read again, number three. Ya, ya completaron esta, uh, la opción número tres. Okay, go, uh, okay, read and remember to check to verify at page 39 in the map. En la página 39 en el mapa, verifiquen para que estén seguros de su respuesta. Okay, very well done. Okay. Congratulations. See you. Okay, thank you. Uh, wait. Uh, check position, purchase department, ID 0854. Entonces, hey, miren, entonces sería, pa, por ejemplo, para mí, on, on Antigua Quelepa a the street consorcio de Mazo. A ver, teacher. <laughs> Estoy diciendo la dirección de donde trabajo. Sí, lo que sucede es que le estaba dando ingreso a Eric Ismael, que perdió la, la conexión. Entonces, para, para ah. decir, la, yo lo digo así, ¿verdad? Para, para uh -huh. donde trabajo. Eh, on Antigua Quelepa a The Street Consorcio uh -huh. de Mas O. Oh. Uh -huh. Estoy diciendo. Yes, en, yes, en yes, 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 that's okay. okay, that's okay. Continue, continue. Vaya. Entonces, job position. Job position. Job position. Okay. Job position. position. Uh -huh. Ahí sería. Mm, así en base al contrato ¿verdad? Ghost Assistant No, el puesto de trabajo que usted ejerce Sí, eso Ghost Ajá. Assistant Teacher Yes En los ejemplos que hemos visto Casi no, casi no utilizamos Along uh -huh. Entonces en la última... Along the road, along the street pero es a lo largo. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, it's located along Roswell Street. Uh -huh. Next. Es decir, to... eh, sobre esa calle, pero no exactamente, sino Para... que en toda esa calle hay uh -huh. que encontrar. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Along Next to street. City Hall. Uh -huh. Next. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Para... The park. Para, para decir que para mi área es de planificación y producción. Bueno, en, en esa área soy, ¿verdad? Pero este... su puesto de trabajo, ¿cuál es? Por sí. ejemplo, yo trabajo en una sí. institución educativa. Ajá. My position is teacher, not coordinator ajá, pero, or supervisor. ¿Ya? Sí, en el, ajá, pero en el, en el ejemplo que está aquí en el manual, abajo dice department. Ajá. En ajá, el, en... y el... Digamos que está seccionado, eh, Department Planificación y Producción. Y Ajá, el otro es planning and production. Técnica, technical en area. Otra, you are in the technical. Área. And you are in which one? ¿En cuál área está usted? En esa, de Planificación y Producción. So you say mm -hmm. I belong to uh, Planning and Production. Department. I belong to, ya vimos eso, sí o no. Well, sí, to? sí. Well. Uh -huh. I... <laughs> Hay pelón. No, sola, ahí no le está pidiendo eso. Yo se lo dije completa. Usted tiene que escribir solo el departamento o área, porque así se lo pide de acuerdo al formato. No, lo voy a escribir todo así. Ay, mm -hmm. uh, planificación y producción, lo voy a poner. Planning Pro, and pro production. Planning and production. Planning ah, and ya. production. Planning and production. Ese AN que está pronunciando es ON, no. No, A-N-D-I. A-N-D. A-N-D. Ah, sí, sí, sí. sí. AND, you and I. AND. The linking word, do you remember? Yes, right? AND. You were joining. Planning and production. 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 Esa U como que fuera. Literal, una así le escribo. <ríe> Okay. Are you ready to get back? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Production. 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 Just that.
Ah, y eso del, del ID, eso creo que no tengo. You create, use your imagination, ok. Recuerde, ah, primero el nombre y el apellido. En el, ah, de, en, el de, caso de, de, ah. en el caso de referirse a la empresa de nosotros, va, son oficinas, digamos, provisionales. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Eh, no tiene, no, no, no cambia nada en la forma de cómo. No, no hacen, no hacen. Es the same. Ok. Ah, Because the nature is different. La naturaleza es diferente, ¿ya? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Ok, let's get back. Ok, here we are. <laughs> Eric was asking questions in this, in this, ok. That was good. That is the idea, to ask questions. Ah, you que know, aquí. Learn. Eh, ok, I, I, de los, I de los pro. Yeah. I need you to activate your cameras, please. Please activate your cameras, everyone. I'm going to take the second attendance. Okay, let's wait for the others. Let's see. Eric, Enrique, and Griselda, they are still in the, in the group. They are still discussing. No, porque yo me vine de último. Ya tendrían que estar acá. No, pero por el inter. Ah, yours bueno. is very fast. But they are here. Ajá, ah, continúe. De ¿Qué decía? ¿De qué? ¿De la compañía? <laughs> But they are here very well. Ok, Abel was absent. Okay, oh, so sad. Alexandra Michel. Absent. Um, Eric Vázquez, Eric Enrique, yes. Present, Eric teacher. Hernando. Present. Thank you. Eric uh, Ismael. Here. Okay, great. Excellent. Um, Griselda. Present. Okay, excellent, Miss Griselda. Uh, Jose Mauricio. Present. Thank you, sir. Julissa is absent. She continues where we sit. Carla Daniela. It's absent. Uh, let's see. Kelly. Present. Thank you, Miss. Mario. Here I am, teacher. Thank you, sir. Noe. Present. Thank you. Rose. Present. Ruth. Present. Okay, thank you. Listen, guys, I was listening and monitoring your work. You did it pretty good, congratulations. Remember that in some companies, you don't have what is shown here as it is. No tienen esta identificación tal cual como aparece acá, pero en cada compañía hay un registro de sus empleados, sí. Puede ser un número de carnet diferente o If you use a biometrical key, uh, technology, but you have a code, maybe you don't know, but you have a code, yes? And depending on the department also. Now here in number three, read again the employee's information and circle which of the alternate directions below is the correct one. Look at the map at page 39. According to you class, which is the, uh, the best, okay? Alternate direction for Arrow Technology Company. Number one, two, three, or four. Which one? I don't listen to you because your microphones are off. Number three. Number three. Number three, it is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the book world. Let's analyze and here until we find the map. 
Okay, here, Arrows Company on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the book world. That is exactly so you don't get lost. Yes, very, very well. Congratulations on your answers and also on your performance. And here we have a prepositions of place. You know them, right? Where is the park located? It is located among many places. Yes, remember, between only two things, people or objects, among more than, uh, more than two. So if you analyze here, okay, the park at page 39, where is the park located? You have the church, city hall, book, actually, Okay, it is surrounded by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine places. That is why the answer is among many places, yeah? Entre muchos, among many places, entre muchos lugares, yeah? Because the park is the center. Now, where is the sports palace located? It is located on Barrios Street in front of the park. Where is the mall located? It is located near the restaurant. Where is the church? It's located past the school, yeah? Now here, you are going to complete the conversation using a preposition from the box. Go to page 39 and look at the map. Along, in front of, behind, next to, between, across, past, under. You are going to complete from number one to number four, according to the map at page uh, 39. And here we have, complete the following employees information about someone else. Uh, let's see, Noé, your name? Noé Vladimir. Noé Vladimir? Blanco? Blanco. Blanco Cor Cortez, uh, yes. your office thing, uh, your office main phone, and I'm going to be writing, okay? What? Seven, seven, seven two. Okay, seven, two, blah, blah. Workplace, uh -huh. where do you work? Where do you work? Pershing's Pers department. No, where do you work? Ah, uh, Premium Center. Premium Center. Department? Pershing's. Pershing. Purchasing, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. address, you tell me the address. If you have ID, you tell me your ID and I write your information, okay? So you have exactly uh, 10 minutes in order to go over and complete this activity, okay? Here we go. Let's move to the breakout rooms and work very fast. You can do it. Okay, join your groups. Go to your groups, please. Go to your groups and begin the activity. I know. <laughs> And the three of you were happy smiling. Okay, let's begin <laughs> working, interviewing your partners. Because it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. We are about to finish. And remember, Eric Fernando is going to stay for a while. What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what did you say? Okay, let's begin with this. Okay, exercise number five. Okay, go back to page 39 and you decide which is the best uh, preposition to complete according to the map. The location okay the sports palace is the bank along the bank in front of the bank behind the bank next to the bank between the bank not between no because you need two two places right across the bank past the bank or under the bank you decide let's go over uh, at least number five okay hurry up you can do it you can do it come on la portada me oigo. Sí, ahorita lo pongo. Ay, no. Es la 46. 46. Use the language. 46. Okay, great. Sí. 
says behind. 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 Hello, teacher. Hello, I am listening to you. Ahora. Recuerden que deben regresar al mapa, ¿verdad? Para ver cuál es la, la mejor opción. Yes. ¿Ya? Oh, wow. You astonish me. <laughs> me sorprendió. Oh, the three of you. Congratulations. Excellent. Good. Very well. Eso por el behind. <laughs> Ahora ubicar the city house. The city hall. Is is church, church and bookport. Entonces sería between. Between. Is between. ¿Estás de acuerdo, Eric? Sí. 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 <ríe> Teacher. ¿Y los sí. otros dos Eric no los tiene juntos? <ríe> no, hoy los separó la plataforma. Y <risa> los extraña, ¿verdad? Sí, a ver. No, Ruth nos ha, extra, nos ha extrañado. No, con Ruth está eh, Eric Merlos y con ah. Mario. Ajá. <risa> en, en el grupo de Eric uh, Merlos está Ruth y, y Mario. No, pero Mario es un very serious boy. No, el <risa> problema es cuando están los tres Erics juntos. No, pero el problema son ellos dos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue working. Time flies. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 ¿Cuál es la respuesta? Entonces. <laughs> No, me te falta por la 14. Sí, no sé. 39. El mapa es 39. Viaja la velocidad de la luz, PDF. ¿Sí? Y está en la 44. Ahí está. Lo siento, no sé qué toqué. Pero me gustaría que ver el, el mapita. Ahí el mapa es la 39, 39. Ese. Ahora sabes que ya olvidé la primera pregunta. La próxima captura. Pero tú tienes tu mano y alguien que no tiene su mano al cada quien, pues. Sí. Uh -huh. sí. So. <risa> Dudosa procedencia. Me van a estar cambiando de página, dicen. Sí. <risa> no. Voy a tener la pregunta hoy, sí, ya. Es que me dan si abrir el manual. <risa> Muy lejos, perro. Teacher, the number three is correct. Me da, copiando el apellido de ahí está. Creo que, que no lo sabe. No lo sé, porque me estoy poniendo la gente. El restaurante, cuando decimos across. Es cruzando. Ajá, eh, pero como acá tiene First Avenue, tendría que ser. Mm. Mm. Lo que pasa es que el restaurante está sobre la primera avenida. Ajá. Along First Avenue. Along. Along. Uh -huh. sí. 
Es decir, en esa calle, pues. Chalón. En la calle, ajá. Porque no decimos a lo largo de la primera calle, decimos en la primera calle. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Es otra forma de decir on, oh, uh -huh, along First Street. City Hall is between the, uh -huh. the church and the city hall are in front of the park. Mm -hmm. Usted puede ver si ya completé el examen. Es que hice ya lo último, pero cuando le quería dar siguiente, ya no me daba la opción. ¿Cuál opción? Enviar. Ajá. O sea, yo sí me he dado enviar y todo está bueno. Pero no sé cómo para terminar sería bueno que, di que dijera, no sé, congratulations o algo, porque si sí, no sé yo si se envió o todo está bien. En, pro en progreso, puede ver si está el 100%. Ajá. Uh, Gracias, Eric. Ya lo mismo. Sí, porque estaba viendo ¿Cómo? a ver si lo podía ver desde acá. Pero verifíquelo en, en progreso, ahí le va a indicar. Porque... Ah, sí, me sale 10%. Ah, ok, entonces sí, ya termino. Voy a verificarlo. 10%. Yeah. Pero me porque sale. Esperaba 100%. Me sale en gris. Esperaba 100%. Hola. Me sale en gris. O no, no tiene nada que ver. No. De memorias. Terminaron ya. Solo Ruth falta. Solo Ruth. Ruth doesn't have points. Dijo que no quería hacer nada. Ahí está. Ni te va a creer, porque ella está haciendo <ríe> trabajo. Yes, I know. Va. Ya no dice. No, yes. I need to change the account. Okay, here. Because I didn't find it. Well, anyways, we have one minute. So we are going to get back to the main session room and we continue on Monday with exercise number six, okay? So you can have more time because we need to double check exercise number five, okay? okay. And if it's Friday, you need to, to take your time. I'm going to close all the rooms. Let's get back, please. Eric Ismael, Eric Fernando, and very soon coming Eric, Eric Janes. Yeah, Eric Ismael, Rose, Noé, Jose Mauricio, Griselda, Cruz. Okay. okay, class, here we go while the others, uh, okay, get back here. Let's see, let's double check these uh, four sentences with the prepositions of place. Where are the others? With that connectivity, okay, one more is missing. So we go over here, number one, the sport palace is behind, behind the bank. Behind. 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 Behind the bank. Is that okay, class? Do you agree? Partially agree or disagree? Is it okay? Okay. Okay. Now, number two. <laughs> Griselda says, okay, okay. Uh, number two, the city hall is the church and the book world. The preposition is? Between. Between. Very well. Between. The restaurant is First Avenue. Along. Along. 
very well. And number four, the church and the city hall are? In front of, in front of the park. Very well. So we're going to go deeper uh, with exercise number six on Monday. Remember, I need you on Monday because it is the, the last day of class and it is mandatory to complete, uh, to fill in the survey in class, okay? Es eh, obligatorio que la encuesta se realice en clase. ¿De acuerdo? Porque van a ver que nos van a estar monitoreando el llenado de esa encuesta. So, um, I need to ask Griselda to give me 10 minutes because you were, okay, I can tell you about the class we had yesterday. And remember class, to finish homeworks week four, and the final test, okay? I am so uh, grateful with you because you were here in class. Have a nice weekend, relax, sleep well, have a good night and see you Monday. Blessings, see you Monday, bye-bye. Thank you for being here. Griselda, please stay with me. Bye-bye, take care. Bye, bye-bye, sleep, bye. relax, have a good night, sweet dreams. Bye-bye. No, not yet. Bye-bye, Eric. Okay, great. Okay, Gris. Okay, Griselda. Um, le pedí que se quedara conmigo porque como ayer, ¿verdad? Eh, no pudo estar. Entonces, para compartirle un poquito de lo que vimos, ¿de acuerdo? Está bien. Y para que practiquemos el, el speaking, porque ayer leyeron ellos un poquito. Bien, entonces, eso trabajamos hoy. Ayer estábamos, bueno, creo que no le cuesta mucho esto, los adjetivos positivos y negativos, ¿verdad? Entonces, acá estuvimos construyendo oraciones eh, con there is and there are. Entonces, tenemos que uh, there is es para singular y there are para plural. Ahí no sé si tendrá alguna duda. No. Sí, no. Ahí sí, no. Ok. En here, acá estaban describiendo sus compañeros eh, su puesto de trabajo, cómo se ve, ¿verdad? Cómo se ve. En este caso decíamos, there is a beautiful lobby, there are comfortable rooms, there's a huge parking lot, there are three high-tech elevators. Pero acá tenemos, there is a narrow reception area, there are two dirty dining rooms, hay dos <coughs> comedores sucios, la gente lo deja sucio, ¿verdad? Y quizás no hay quien haga la limpieza. There is an ugly photocopy center. Esto es, eh, acá ella prácticamente solo adjetivos negativos utilizan mm -hmm. para describir su trabajo, ¿verdad? There are small offices. Y él solo uh, describe con adjetivos positivos, muy buenos. Sí. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, um, ¿qué más trabajamos a share acá? There is and there are. Aquí estuvimos trabajando uh, estas oraciones también, completando la verdad. Y uh, esta conversación, sí, me gustaría que la leyera, ¿verdad? Hello, can, I, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne, Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training room? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Leame toda la conversación y luego lo vamos a leer en pareja. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't like her. Live, don't live, live, live. Yo live, no vivo acá. Uh -huh. Live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? I hear told me to go to the building on the main street. I know it, it's down the street on the left side. Mm -hmm. Thanks, 
I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Where are a lot of no, training? No, no, there are, there are. There are a lot of training centers on the buildings between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you. Again, bye-bye. Now I am going to read Will and you are going to read Tanya, okay? Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are full buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. it's down the street on the left side. Mm, thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers of the buildings between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Now we switch. You are Will and I read Tanya. Okay, you begin. Okay. Hello, can you tell me where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the buildings on Main Street. I know it, it's down the street on the left side. Thanks, I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there, thank you. Again, bye-bye. Okay, now you read alone, okay? All the conversation. Ahora solita lea la conversación. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? I hear told me to go to the building on the main street. I know it is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the buildings between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again, bye-bye. Okay, the only thing is, uh, repeat after me, I don't live here. I don't live here. 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 Okay, here. Es una I -E here. 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 I don't live here. I don't live here. Excellent. Very well. A girl, a girl, a, a girl, girl told me, a girl told me, a girl told me to go, to go to the building, to the building on Main Street. On Main Street. Main Street is principal street. La calle principal. Main Street, calle principal, okay? Main Street. Okay, I know it. I know it. I know it. It's down. It's down. The street. The street. 
on the left side. On the left side. I know it. I know it. It's down the street. It's down the street. On the left side. On the left side. Thanks. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. I have to ask something else. No, I have to ask you. I have, I have to ask you. Something else. Something else. Is there? Is there? A training center? A training center? A training center? A training center? I know a training center. A training center. Is there a training center? Is there a training center? Okay, very well. Thank you so much. Excellent. Very good. Okay, remember, uh, don't forget to complete the homework for and hoy. Um, entre hoy y mañana, porque para prevenir lo del internet, ¿verdad? Porque como el lunes es nuestro último día, el lunes ya tiene que estar terminadito, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. De acuerdo. Eh, eso, eso nada más, y no faltar el día lunes, por favor, ¿ok? Está bien. Okay, ok, thank you so much for giving me your time. Have a good night. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. See you good Monday. Night. Bye bye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye bye. Let's bye. See. Bye. Voy a cerrar. Ok. The camera is on. La cámara está activa. Ok, bye.